Welcome, everyone. Welcome back if you're returning. Looting Farm Guy here with another basic tutorial for, well, for beginners. Um, so here we are again at the uh, the beginning screen. I have went through a little bit of this in my introduction, but we'll go through it step by step. Um, there's a lot of uh, different options here. Basically, you don't really need to touch any of them right away. If you just want to get started, you're going to pick Career, press X. Go to an empty uh, slot. You will have these. These are saving uh, points. Uh, you will just press X. New farmer is recommended. Uh, you uh, you will ha start with some sand. Uh, some sand. You'll start some with some land, and uh, and the settings are basically on easy settings to help you along. Uh, I would recommend Elm Creep. Creek it, because it is a uh, one of the base game uh, and it is uh, very well laid out for beginners. Uh, these uh, we will talk about later. <laughs> so you press X <clears throat> to start the game. It will load. And we're just going to go through a few things that you will uh, um, you know, be expecting to see when you come into the new game. Uh, like I said, we've uh, it's loaded now. Press start. Uh, this is uh, a customer character uh, cust character customization. Uh, there are many different things. Uh, you can scroll through it with your R1, which is your trigger above your right trigger on the PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4. Xbox, I'm sure it will be similar. I'm not going to go through all of this. This is fairly basic for anyone who's ever played video games. You press O to confirm. We're going with the standard character. There is a short tutori tutorial in the game. Uh, it's kind of vague. Uh, so I'm not going to... If you wish to go through it, go ahead. I'm not going to do it. You can start it later if you want to start a new game. All right, so... On the top left, you have your help window, which are controls, uh, basic controls like jump, X, crouch is, and we're at a sleep trigger, which is this icon here. You press L3, and you can sleep through till tomorrow from between mm, 5 o'clock all the way up to 9 o'clock, and you can do this any time of the day, any time you want to skip ahead time. So... You just got in here. What do I do? What's going on here? Well, we have some equipment. If you want to look at your menus, uh, you have your option menu, which is your uh, little button uh, just above your, or just to the upper, up and left of your triangle. That will pull up your map. And using your R1 and R2 buttons, you can scroll through the various settings and options here there's quite a few of them the important ones are this uh, general setting with the gear you can go through this there are many many settings here uh, like your help window you would like to have that on with your beginner and all these other things are just more or less uh, preferences uh, I would suggest just uh, gear shift mode to be automatic if it isn't already there um, and then you have your volumes and so forth and then if you go left one more you in your game settings which are if we go to the top <clears throat> you can pause the game here you can name the save uh, this is this auto save interval I uh, keep it at off because I like to save it on my own mm, choice but you can have it either 5 10 15 minutes time scale that is how fast time goes by in the game I like it real time which means a minute in game is a minute in real time you can scale that up all the way to 360 times or half time and then of course you have your other uh, settings which we will discuss later but anyways that's the basic things if you want to look at what you have for equipment you can of course walk around and it uh, the right top or sorry right lower uh, 
information there. If you have your field information on, it will tell you what it is and who owns it. I own this, and there is 555 liters of diesel in there. There is no crop. To look at your, what you have for equipment, the big um, the center pad, if you press that down, it will pop you into this menu. And, of course, left and right upper L1 or L2 or R1 buttons will scroll you through these settings. <clears throat> Brands of vehicles, tools, objects, packs, used vehicles. Owned items is the one that we're looking for and leased items and others. So you can here in here, you can change your wardrobe as well. Oops. Uh, construction is will bring up uh, the, your build mode. We'll look at that later. Farmland and animal dealer. But what we're interested in is owned items. This will tell you, this menu here will tell you all the things that you personally own at this very moment. And you can click X and it will go into medium tractors here. These are the, the, the categories medium tractors, harvesters. We only have one harvester. You press X. Here we got three tractors. Uh, you can sell these items from this menu if you don't want them. Uh, o is to back out. Uh, so basics, that's kind of the basic to get you started around the menu system. What do you want to do? Well, you want to, uh, this is ready to harvest if you see the right lower field information it will tell you exactly what's going on with your field to stay with the basics uh, your what the crop type is wheat growth it is ready to harvest so it means you can ready to mm, use a combine for instance to harvest your crop uh, yield bonus fertilization and needs lime are all Something that is part of the game, but it's not necessary to harvest. Harvesting is you get a harvester such as this. There are plenty of harvesters in the game. Again, press your center pad button. Go up to vehicles. And here are all the different vehicles available for you to buy at the store. Harvesters, there are many kinds of harvesters. Uh, all these are base game harvesters you can buy. They will cost money. Notice your balance or your money in the top right corner. That is how much money you have. So uh, we will end this video with how to harvest. To get into, sorry, to get into a vehicle, you go up to it and see your top left, your, your, your help menu. Enter vehicle is square. It will put you in the vehicle. Your right R, uh, R3 R button or your your little um, joystick, right joystick, if you press down on it, it will give you your inside view or outside. Uh, your D-pad on the left with your thumb will top up. Pressing up will get you closer. Pressing down will make you go further away. If you press left or right on your D-pad, in your left thumb you will you will cycle through all your different vehicles so if you press something weird and it goes somewhere there that's what's happening you're pressing left or right on your d-pad to uh, drive left trigger or l1 let's see l2 sorry l2 is back up just like a racing game r one or sorry r2 your tr trigger press it down will give you acceleration to attach something as you come close to it in this case a header for this combine an icon at the bottom middle attach dutes far top liner 4090 header press x and it will attach like so now if you when you're in a vehicle there's there's options there's controls l1 you press l1 another menu will come up <clears throat> it will give you a list of things that you need may or may not need to do you will need to unfold the harvester x 
and you will need to lower the header. Oh. And you will also need to turn it on. <laughs> that will start the wheel turning. Now, once that you have that started, you press your button to go forward and you are harvesting your crop. Now at the bottom right corner, it's gonna tell you what you have in your harvester, as well as what kind of crop is in there, in this case, wheat. And what you do is you'll just continue to go along and harvest your crop back and forth. Now, that is your basic starting off. To shut it off, press uh, just uh, you have to, oh yes, another thing is your triangle will will cycle through, if you top left, your, that little blue icon will cycle through your header and your combine. That will tell you if you have something attached to a vehicle, you can do so, you see the options change when you, so we have the combine highlighted, R1, the honk, honk, L1, you can turn off the harvester and I've got the header highlighted and it's it'll it sometimes it'll give you it's a little confusing because it'll give you options uh, to the vehicle as well as what you're what you're so you're gonna have to kind of just pay attention if you press both R1 and L1 uh, sometimes it gives you different options as well so it's a little bit there's a lot of information going on let's just exit I have uh, engine automatically uh, turns on and off when you enter so if you get in it it'll automatically start up if you get out it'll turn off huh, I think that's enough for one video that is basically the introduction to how to get you started in our next video we will talk about how to unload your harvester and what to do with it. All right, I, I'm Looney Farm Guy. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I will have more to come. Um, and please remember, it's just a game, so have fun. Till next time, bye for now.